Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello to you and welcome back to my tour down under where you join me in Christchurch, New Zealand, where today I'm visiting Dutton Garage. Now they've just invited me to head inside the showroom and choose a car to take for a test drive. Let's go inside and have a look at what it's going to be. Before we even get fully started, I've kind of already made up my mind which car it's going to be lurking in the background. However, that Jeep could certainly be quite an interesting drive. There are some lovely cars here. Let's take a quick look at them before we head inside the showroom. We've got the Ferrari F12 Berlinetta. I enjoyed my first drive in an F12, the front engine Ferrari V12. Sounds incredible. Amazing amounts of power, 730 horsepower. Beyond that, we have the Bentley Continental Super Sports ISR. This was a limited edition version of the Continental Super Sports convertible that they released upon breaking the ice speed record hence the name we've got ferrari's ever popular 458 italia mid-engined v8 powered supercar awesome thing again to drive and sounds incredible as well but let us go inside where we have many more cars to take a look at starting off with the ferrari 458 italia again right here there's another bentley continental gtc behind that then here an interesting car the mercedes sls amg roadster now i've always been a big fan of the sls from when it launched in the coupe format with the gullwing doors when they took the roof off of course the doors had to become the normal style but it has that naturally aspirated 6.2 liter confusingly 6.2 not 6.3 uh, naturally aspirated v8 and i think in the black with the red leather it looks awesome you can see down there there are plenty more cars lurking towards the rear of the showroom but i have already made my choice it is going to be this car right here the ferrari 599 gto now this is quite a significant car i think it was a limited edition special series and it wears that gto badge gran turismo omologato a pretty significant badge in ferrari's history from the 1960s 250 gto through to the 288 gto that followed the third car to wear that badge which really indicates that it's a car with a lot of purpose and i can tell you there is a ginormous v12 up there it sounds absolutely incredible rear wheel drive 660 61 brake horsepower 670 ps 620 newton meters and really it's one of i think my favorite cars that up to this point i've never driven and that's because back in the early days of making my videos was right when this launched it came out at the beginning of 2010 and i remember filming them seeing them driving around and getting really excited about these cars and this one if you look at the paint color scheme of it the factory scheme in the white paintwork with the tour de france blue factory stripe on the car it just looks looks awesome. The mirrors are blue to match, uh, the roof stripe continues towards the back of the car as well, the dark stealth colour for the wheels. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous thing and well, needless to say, I'm really quite excited right now because the opportunity to drive it, I've actually cheekily already picked up the key, is coming right up. I'm looking forward to this one. So let's have a, a look around it in a bit more detail. The 599 GTB was Ferrari's front engined V12 Grand Tourer. The GTO is the more hardcore track version. When this launched, it was the fastest car around Ferrari's test track, Fiorano, even faster than the Enzo, the hypercar, the class above that. So for a front engine car, that's really quite a feat. And if you come and have a look at it a bit more detail on the inside, you can see how that comes about. They stripped out 100 kilos of weight with the sporty bucket seats, with the harnesses, straight through to the bare floor taking out some of the sound deadening and the materials that just add unnecessary weight the car has incredibly wide tires 315 section at the rear 285 at the front the gtb only had 245 at the front some cosmetic differences you'll notice the vents or the ducts on the front bonnet down at the base the grills are enlarged just have a more sporty finish to them as well and also round at the rear slightly new diffuser and the shape of the boot lid as well just giving it the 599 gto feel and look to it i love the way the stripe is finished so what i particularly like about this car is it has luggage space you can use it for a trip and adventure but it's such a, a special and significant thing and yeah i'm quite excited right now so a big thanks to dutton garage let us start it up and take it outside and then i'll have the opportunity to just drive down the road a couple of times and see what it's like let's get it outside first thing to move the 250 se out of the way so then we will bring the gto out listen to that such a good sound 
absolutely awesome. My goodness. Before I go, there is one more thing that I would like to show you, which is of course, the engine. Release it there. Come around, remember this is a 208 mile per hour car, 335 kilometers an hour top speed. Officially not to 100 kilometers an hour, 3.3 seconds. My goodness, that's a light engine cover. But that is the V12 in all of its glory. Six liter V12, absolutely incredible. Looks beautiful as Ferraris always do. Stunning thing. Anyway, let's click this back down because I think it is time to jump in and go see what this is like out on the roads. Excited is a major understatement right now. Oh, look at that rev counter. 8,400 RPM red line. Yeah, excited. Let's go see what it's like. This is the GTO. V12 back into life. And even though it's a short drive in the city, I obviously, oh, I like the graphics you get on the display. Actually, you get a picture of the, uh, the engine itself. Obviously need the four point harness. We're not gonna be driving as aggressively as they're designed for but they just feel cool, right? So pre the days of electronic handbrake, we have a manual handbrake. We have the F1 style semi-automatic, so the long paddle shifters attached to the steering column. But let us head on out and go for a little drive in town and just see what this thing is like. Just let the revs build up. So we start in automatic. This is a, a controversial gearbox. It was that era before the double clutches, but when cars were getting this level of power, I mean 660 horsepower, right? Quicker than the Enzo. It's an absolute monster. But I am gonna press the auto button and go into manual. We're in race mode on the Manatina. Ooh, that downshift, that downshift. The steering is good, direct. That's the sound of heaven. <laughs> I'm following a, a 458 who uh, very spiritedly de departed there. Oh, that sound! That sound! Even at city speeds, I didn't expect it to be this smooth. I thought it would be jerky and a bit uncomfortable, but the gearbox is actually pretty decent. It's not bad at all, just get moving here. The shift, when you're at faster speeds, of course, the shift is even quicker because of the way the gearbox is set up. That sound is absolutely mega. Goodness me. Wow. Okay, so this is a GTO pinch moment for a second. Bucket list option here. We don't have any radio or anything. It's completely stripped out. Alcantara, carbon fiber, grab handles, LED driver zone on the steering wheel. Not very many buttons. This is before Ferrari started putting indicators on the steering wheel. We turn out here, gonna wait for that car to go, and then we get an opportunity to head out onto a more main road, which is always appreciated. The opportunity here. Wow. Whoo, that downshift. So if you pull both paddles, of course, it goes into neutral. You can't hold it in gear for too long. And um, these gearboxes, if you actually leave them at first, will blip out and go themselves back into neutral after a short while. But it's actually quite comfortable and, and supportive and, and nice. And I love this front-engined hardcore car. I'm a big fan of that setup, that configuration, that style of car. But immediately, just feels heavenly. I could drive it in a com more comfortable mode, a wet mode or sport mode, but race just seems right. You can also obviously go CT off and then all the way to uh, D, uh, CT, DSC, yeah, everything. All traction controls off. Um, anyway, when the slight changes, we can go back into gear and carry on. Here we go. the noise of the 458 but also let's just put it into wet mode and smoothen things up for a moment and just drive the car I guess in a gentle style you can obviously take a high gear pretty early it's got plenty of torque it's not actually that intrusive it's not that noisy or uncomfortable like this at all I mean the ride is still firm don't get me wrong these are not unreasonably smooth roads uh, unreasonably rough roads but anyway let's get back to race because everybody wants noisy right here we go! Goodness 
me. <laughs> oh my gosh. One thing that I've kind of got to remember is that this car has a price tag of one and a half million New Zealand dollars. That's about 800,000 pounds because there are only 60 or so of these that are right-hand drive. So 599 in total, oh, only six gears, of course, not seven. 599 in total, but a tenth of them, 10% have steering wheels on the right. So that makes them pretty rare and collectible machines, which is why many of them end up sitting in garages and not driven. This car has about 11,000 kilometers on it, which is just epic that the previous owner of it has taken it out and has enjoyed it and has used it as intended. I mean, that's completely what it's built for. It just makes me want to constantly do that. It's very quick, very quick. Okay, around the roundabout we go, and then we're gonna get a nice open stretch. I'm actually really, ooh, that was a bit cheeky in front of me there. I'm really quite excited about this little bit of road that's gonna be right in front of us here, or at least I was until I had a lot of people right in front of me. So, open stretch of tarmac, pretty empty road, legal speed limits. Let's enjoy this. It revs so fast. Mega, absolutely mega. <laughs> oh, who doesn't love that? So, what can I say about the Ferrari 599 GTO? Well, sometimes they say never meet your heroes. This was one of my heroes from those early days of videos. And it's absolutely epic. It's just an incredible thing. I'm loving this, absolutely loving this. I genuinely can't believe that this car eluded me for so long. Why have I not driven a 599 GTO before now? It's an epic machine. It's huge, there is no question. It is bigger than the F12 Berlinetta that came out after this. The newer version is a smaller car, which is completely unusual in the car world. But it's a big, angry brute. It screams like you wouldn't believe. The engine sounds phenomenal. The gearbox is way better than I expected it to be. The ride is good, and the excitement and drama of it, which is what a special edition limited series Ferrari should be, is off the charts. It is incredible. 599 GTO, the look in the mirrors, the double struts holding the mirrors in place, the ducktail spoiler that you can catch a glimpse of at the back of the car, the stripe that you see over the bulge in the bonnet, everything about this is just awesome. What I've not really done though is pop it into neutral, put the window down, and hear a few blips of the exhaust note. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> what an epic noise this car made. We got another rev in that as well. It, it revs so fast. I just love holding it in gear. The burbles on the overrun. It's the real sound of a proper engine. So good. Here we are then, arriving back at Dutton Garage. What a drive this has been. A massive thanks to them for not only hosting the meet that we're gonna be having this evening, but also for the opportunity to drive this car. Somebody out there needs to buy it, love it and enjoy it because it's just mega. That sound is to die for, absolutely to die for. Sadly, it comes to an end, but I'm not gonna forget this one in a hurry. And now it's time to catch up with some of you guys here at Dutton's. So let me put my cameras away and I'll see you in a moment. Very nice, very nice, RS6. There are plenty of nice cars. There's an R8 over the other side, Maserati, uh, S-Class. Oh, GTR, I'm sure many people will like the GTR over at the background as well. But this has turned out to be really quite cool. Loads of people here, which is amazing. This has been awesome and that is beautiful. The Irish green 911 Targa right there. Another lovely, lovely car that's arrived being part of this. There's an A45 just up at the end. The GTO tucked in there as well. And then these two just for a bit of fun. But let's uh, just see. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Lovely, lovely. Well, awesome of Dutton to host today. Awesome, awesome to drive the 599 GTO. Thank you everyone who's come down. Still a few more of you guys around here at the moment, but I have had a great time. That GTO, just something absolutely magical. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this one up. Thank you very much for watching as always, guys. Make sure you're subscribed for plenty more content to come from New Zealand and Australia on this tour down under. That's it though for now. I'll see you very soon. Cheers.